And welcome everybody to the third official episode of Around the Rings with Dusty Dave. You can find me on Instagram, KOTR underscore Dusty Dave. As a member of the KOTR podcast, you can find the podcast on uh, Twitter at KOTR underscore podcast. As a member of Wrestle Addict Radio at Addict Wrestle and part of the Rant with Ant family. Um, So today's episode, I want to discuss the recent names who have officially signed to WWE, to um, Ring of Honor, and obviously what I'm wearing, AEW. Last night was the um, ticket release party, where they also unveiled some new talent. So first and foremost for AEW, let's get let's get uh, the cat out of the bag. Kenny Omega, who has long been believed to be signing with AEW, officially put pen to paper yesterday morning, and uh, he is also being given the executive vice president um, uh, position, similar to the way the other members of the elite have. And um, we saw him get physical with Chris Jericho, which makes me think that we're going to be getting Jericho vs. Omega 2. Obviously, Jericho vs. Omega 1, the Alpha vs. Omega, Wrestle Kingdom 12. It was a grueling match. It was a physical match. I enjoyed it. And I very much would like to see where this goes. Now, one thing I'm curious about Kenny is whether he's going to have the same ability as Chris Jericho to um, compete in uh, New Japan as uh, an AEW signee. Because Chris Jericho's contract stipulates that he can still wrestle in Japan. And as I've said in the past, he does want to go back after... um, He wants to pursue the uh, IWGP Heavyweight Championship, currently around the waist of Hiroshi Tanahashi. And who knows, maybe we could still see another another Naito match. Um, So Kenny was the biggest name that was announced. But I have the the, um, rest of the uh, um, roster as of yesterday. Um... Obviously, we also have uh, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky, SEU. SEU! Um, we have the Lucha Brothers, Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. Um, I've, got, I've seen these, uh, these guys live. They're, they're amazing. I would have liked them on WWE. I would like them... Uh, in AEW, they have a lot of talent, um, and uh, they even attacked the Young Bucks, which was a uh, which was a big um, it was a big deal. Uh, sorry, I just want to make sure I turn off my alarm. Uh, okay, getting back to it, we also have MJF, who, as I said in previous episodes, is starting to be hashed out as a character on Being the Elite. Um, you, we have Pac, the former um, Neville, and uh, we got a, the video treatment similar to the way we had our introduction to Shinsuke um, uh, foreshadowing a match between Pac and Adam Hangman Page, which... Uh, would be a great match. Like I've only gotten to see uh, um, Neville uh, towards the end of his WWE tenure uh, in the cruiserweight division, but um, he's a very talented, uh, very talented individual. He's the current Dragon Gate champion. Um, so I'm. Really want to see where this feud's going. We also have the best friends, 
Trent Beretta and Chuck E.T. They've been performing together uh, in various um, various uh, promotions. Um, obviously, most recently in New Japan. But um, seeing Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta um, sign with AEW along with the Lucha Bros and um, obviously the Bucks, it does show that... Um, AEW will uh, highlight tag team wrestling. So, I'm curious to see who down the road with uh, contracts coming up in WWE may or may not sign with them. Um, I think there are a few tag teams that may be on the resigning block or slash wanting to leave block, but I'm not going to comment on speculation. Um, also, not announced last night, but announced on social media at the beginning of the week. Jimmy fucking Havoc is signed to All Elite Wrestling. And uh, my compeer, King Ricky Rose, did bring up a good point. It's curious to see if they're going to let Jimmy Havoc be Jimmy Havoc. Because obviously... The Jimmy Havoc that we know and most fans are acquainted with is the Deathmatch Jimmy Havoc. The ultra-violence Jimmy Havoc. And um, with uh, the potential of um, getting a TV deal that's being discussed as the biggest thing since WCW, it's curious to see if they let Jimmy Havoc be Jimmy Havoc or if they have to water down his um, presentation. You also, who you had last night, is Sammy Guevara, current um trip, uh, current champion in AAA. Um, he uh, identified himself as uh, being one of the uh, best juniors, best cruiserweights. So I believe that he's going to be in that cruiserweight uh, junior heavyweight division. But it's always a big deal when you have a sitting champion. Sign. Now, I mentioned that he's a champion with AAA, and AAA is the second company who has agreed to a partnership slash talent exchange with um, AEW. So that's now Oriental Wrestling Entertainment and AAA, who also just got a new TV deal in Mexico for one year for TV Azteca which uh, I read that TV Azteca is covering the um, production costs and um, AAA maintains the rights. Um, and then obviously you have Joey Janela and then um, recently you had the announcement of Jungle Boy as part of the roster. I'm not very acquainted with him. I think he looks like a long lost young buck, but I'm curious to see what he has to offer. And you also have Sonny Kiss, who I believe was ex delicious on um, Lucha Underground, and it's so very talented wrestler. And it's good to see that they're following through with All Elite Wrestling is for everyone. Um, you know, that they're not holding back their signings based on, you know, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, etc., etc. So kudos to... Um, uh, AEW for being uh, modern and b progressive. And uh, finally, you have Sema, who uh, came out with the guys from uh, OWE and um, uh, Christopher Daniels challenged uh, Sema and two wrestlers from OWE to a uh, six man tag against uh, Daniels, Kazarian, and Scorpio, Scorpio Sky. I see you! I see you! So, obviously, um, we know that Brandy's uh, the chief Brandy officer, and we know that um, she will also be competing in the women's division. And the first official signee for the women's division outside of uh, the elite was um, Britt Baker, DMD. Well, we, uh, we also had Penelope Ford, but we got four announcements last night. So first and foremost, Aja Kong, who's a big name in Japan. Yuka Sakazaki, who's an up-and-coming name in Japan. Like, 
I started to check out some of her matches. If you guys haven't, do it. She's phenomenal. Uh, and then you also have Kylie Ray, who was announced, who uh, is a very bubbly, like, up-and-comer. She comes out to the Pokemon theme, so I'm on board. And um, you also have uh, her announcement being interrupted by Nyla Rose, nicknamed the American Kaiju, who is a uh, bigger wrestler um, along the line of a Tamina or, yeah, a Tamina size. But um, look, it looks like uh, we're going to get a match between Kylie Ray and uh, Nyla Rose at um, Double or Nothing. So those are the big names that have signed with AEW. Now, this uh, free agent period has been very uh, prosperous for Ring of Honor as well. And leading into the holidays, there was the announcement that PCO and Brody King were s signing with Ring of Honor and joining Villain Enterprises. So they put a faction around Marty, which makes me think Ring of Honor may give him a... A world title run before his contract is up. I'm hoping. Um, we also have them having signed Bandito, who is one of the biggest uh, names uh, in Lucha Libre, who has been uh, shown to fans. Like people that, who saw him at All In became fans of him. Like I'm still catching up on seeing more of his work. But he is quite talented. He made it to the finals of the Battle of Los Angeles last year, which was ultimately won by Jeff Cobb. And then you also have the other faction, Lifeblood, with um, Mark Haskins, who is known from Progress fame. Progress, I'm sorry. Progress fame. Um, very talented. I got to see him at the Progress New York City show. Um... And uh, you have David Finley, you have Juice Robinson, a returning to Neil Dashwood, you have Bandito. So uh, it does look that we might be getting some faction warfare within Ring of Honor. And the most recent signing, who's signing kind of went under the radar, is Rush. Now, Rush isn't a big name, so I'm not acquainted that you're, I'm not a, a Assuming that you're very acquainted with, but Rush was um is very close to Andrade, formerly Andrade Cien Almas, and um a huge up and comer. I believe that they were in the Los Ingobernables uh faction together, the original one at which Los Ingobernables de Japón uh derived from. And he was looking at WWE and uh, a, a, he was looking everywhere. And uh, from what I read, and um, it's uh, been confirmed through multiple articles, uh, Andrade told him not to sign with WWE. I'm not sure if that's because at the time Andrade was in his uh, TV dark period, um, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But he chose to bring his talents to Ring of Honor. So, and we also have some women of honor uh, making appearances who aren't officially signed, like uh, Mayu Iwatani from Japan. So, I'm curious to see uh, the next uh, set of signings for Ring of Honor. And now that brings us to WWE. Ray Watami, formerly known as Kent, is no longer with the company, and Dean Ambrose is on his way out, what, one way or another. Obviously, until the end of his contract, we won't know. It, the way WWE announced it was very weird, but um, they haven't really brought in many new talents. Obviously, they were hoping for Kenny. Kenny went to uh, All Elite, but um, Kushida who revolutionized the junior division, has been rumored to be coming to WWE. And it is believed that he will be coming to WWE um, to be part of the NXT division. And it makes me think, what makes me think that this is a more concrete idea is the fact that um, 
it's looking like uh, similar to the way NXT Japan was um, announced, and now there's a performance. Uh, NXT UK was announced. I believe that they're about to announce in the coming months NXT Japan. Uh, and Kushida could be a face of that product. And the second name who has been rumored to be signing with WWE is Shane Strickland. Swerve. Um, I would really like to see this. I'm a little worried about whether they would give um, give him the creative control that his character needs. But, like, he's had so many great matches with some of the recent uh, signees of NXT, and he just has star power written all over him. So, obviously, we're going to have to wait and see about who the next signees are. But as there are more signees, I, can, I will discuss those as well. But... From yours truly, Dusty Day, the dustiest man in the game. Goodbye, mwah, and good night. Well, good night, bang.